A Boy at War by Harry Mazur Chapter 2 On the road to Aia it showered twice, and twice the rain clouds came streaming across the volcanic Kulau Mountains. Curtains of rain spilled down the steep slopes. Water sprayed up from the bike wheels. Adam thought of taking cover, but he was intent on getting to Aia to see if his father's ship was back to port yet. He had left on the training cruise ten days ago. The rain stopped as fast as it had started. The sun came out, and Adam was dry in minutes. He was used to snow in November and never seeing the sun for days at a time. But this was Hawaii, where the sun shone even when it rained. They'd only been there two weeks, but he liked it. He liked Hawaii. When you were a military brat, that was the drill. Whatever happened, you liked it. One year, they'd moved four times so that they could be with his father. Did he like it? Yeah, sure, he liked it. Join the Navy and see the world. That was what the posters promised, and it was true. Because here they were in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, 2,000 miles away from the United States, on the island of Oahu, in the city of Honolulu, next door to Pearl Harbor, the biggest American naval base in the Pacific. He knew the facts. That was the easy part of moving. The hard part was making new friends. And here in Roosevelt High, for the first time, he was in a civilian school with civilian kids. He'd already figured out they didn't like the military kids a whole lot. Well, okay. He got along anyway. He was good at sports, and he could give as well as take. So it wasn't as if he was by himself. What he missed, though, was having one good friend. When he was younger, he'd always gone to schools on the base, and all the kids were Navy like him. They knew about moving in the military and how you didn't pal around with kids whose dads were lower in rank than yours. It wasn't a written rule, but it was a rule. The kids all lived by military rules, same as their fathers. They were in the military too, even if they didn't have the uniforms. When Adam's father got home, he was going to ask Adam how he was getting along. And Adam was going to say what he always said, everything's super. His father had no use for complainers and whiners. He always said, Adam, you've got to take the cards you're dealt. The important thing is how you play the game. Kamahima Highway was a hilly two-lane road all the way to Aia. Adam rode his bike around to the back of the sugar mill, where he could see the whole harbor. He had been here before, and he liked the view, the spread of the harbor, Ford Island in the middle and beyond it, hills of green sugar cane, and beyond them, Almost floating in the sky, the huge shadowy Wainani Mountains. The harbor was full of ships, submarines, cruisers, destroyers. There was a naval air station on Ford Island where the big PBY patrol planes were based. Battleshi- battleships were moored in pairs alongside Ford Island. Battleship Row. That's where he looked for his father's ship, the Arizona. He knew where it was moored, and there it was, the signal flag snapping in the wind. He stood, straddling his bike and saluted. He did it impulsively. It was corny, true, but he was really happy to see his father's ship. A lot of corny things were true. The military was corny, all the spit and polished stuff, but it was true, too. He had been on the Arizona on family days with his mother and sister, the officers and enlisted men in dress whites standing at attention under the giant 14-inch guns and the Arizona band playing. Afterward, there were movies and ice cream on the fantail and Adam's father taking him around, embarrassing him by introducing him to every officer as a future Navy man. He watched a motor launch leave the Arizona and head across the bay toward the Navy yards and the main docks. The boat, trailing a long, frothy wake, was loaded with white-capped sailors headed for shore leave. His father might be among them, or he might be home already. Officers and families could live off ship when they were in port. Adam started back to Honolulu, pedaling hard. It was exciting when his father came back from a cruise, but it was tense, too. His father liked them all there to welcome him. His crew lined up to greet their commander. If Adam was late, things could get off on the wrong foot. It would take him an hour to get home. He stood up on the pedals and pedaled and pushed harder.